what's up everyone welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel so today's video is day seven of my sewing marathon videos i'm focused on two patterns today so we'll start with this one because you can see it right there mccall's 7847 um out of this mustardy waffle cloth it is right there on the mannequin view b i believe the, i think it's the one she's wearing um and then I'm also going to focus on that look, which is just kind of thrown over that mannequin. Simplicity 8699. Um, the long version, so I think it's also the one she's wearing. First of all, if you hear some weird noises, that is my dog. She is chewing on her um, new toy, her new Christmas toy. So we're just going to try to ignore those weird sounds so if this is your first sewing marathon video basically i wanted to do a lot of sewing over my christmas break so i picked out seven different garments and i've just kind of been sewing on them and kind of bringing you along with the process so today is day seven the very last day of this series but you can check out all the other videos on my channel so let's get started <laughs> she's really there's also like a little ball inside that toy she's really getting into it so this look it's we're really kind of there with it um you can see the colors on the front facing pieces and the front lining <laughs> are what is up there and then the sleeves are just pinned onto the bottom so i got kind of the shell going of that this garment the skirt um, everything is sewn on, but it needs to kind of be put together. So the waistband's not complete, the uh, right front and left front aren't complete, it's not hemmed, and it needs buttons on it. So all of that is what I'm going to be working on today, and then I'll show you what the final looks look like for the last day of this sewing marathon. A little bit of an update. So I completed one side this is what I still need to do. It needs to be ironed still, which I have the iron out in the interfacing ready because I'm gonna put some interfacing on this. Um, I'm going to iron this. I did some top stitching here. This needs to be a little more pressed just to kind of give it a clean edge. Same with this color up here. Um, I'm gonna iron it after I put this side on, but needs a little bit of clean, clean press so I can top stitch it really nicely. Um, so this is the piece I still need to put on. Kind of hard to tell what it is, but it's the front facing piece. Oh, well, actually that's the bottom. It's the front facing piece. Uh, see like right there connected to the inside liner piece. So that's what this is. So that will go on this side. Um, and then the sleeve still needs to go on that side. Also still needs to be hemmed. But yeah, I thought I would show you just kind of like progress and what I still need to do. Kind of just like a glimpse into what it will actually look like. Then I'm going to iron, do interfacing, kind of get the ball rolling a little more. Okay, ironing update. I just ironed this and the collar and this side so now i can do the top stitching all the way around the collar and the front facing um like i did this side and then the skirt i just kind of threw up there let me grab it and i'll show you here is the skirt right now i have it pinned down because i'm going to stitch uh down this line right here just to kind of hold it in place but if i unpin this you can see that I ironed interfacing on all the space right there um, just to have it really sturdy for the um, buttonholes and buttons. And then the other side isn't as big, but I did that too. So right here, literally same exact thing. Um, pinned down and interfaced on both sides just to get the double really thick um, that way the button and buttonholes won't pucker and it'll kind of give it a, a cleaner look. Some exciting updates. Let's start with this corduroy skirt. So it is all sewn together and now I'm planning out where I'm going to put the buttonholes. Um, I've done one already, kind of like a test run. 
So I've got three more to do. And then I'm going to use these buttonholes. Um, I think they look nice on the fabric. Or these buttons, not buttonholes. I think they look nice on the fabric. Um, and they're a little smaller than I would maybe like. But it, it kind of works. Uh, that's why I decided to use four of them. So that's kind of what it will look like. And then on my machine right here, I have my buttonhole foot on. Um, and the screen just kind of shows you some details about the buttons. So yeah, got to put on the other three buttons over here. We've got this look complete. I'm so excited this look is done and the corduroy skirt is like almost done. So I went ahead and top stitched around this collar, around the front facing on both sides. Um, and then I also did some top stitching down here. I need to cut those threads just to get the collar to lay down nicely so super excited to wear this jacket I really really love it um just some details about it it has um an upper collar an under collar front facing and a front liner the um front liner is connected to the armhole and so I just went ahead and surged all around the armhole um just to get a nice clean look then like looking at the hem, it's just kind of the um, liner, just totally lost my train of thought and it's a little blurry. The liner is tucked up in here so you won't get any fraying and then I frayed the, I mean not frayed, surged the outside fabric. Oh my gosh, I cannot talk today. It's a little wrinkly because it was laying on the ground a little bit. Um, but yeah, there's that. The sleeve, just your average normal sleeve with a, a little hem um, which is kind of hidden by the gray thread which I really like and then looking at the back let me turn this under so you can actually get a good view just a simple back it was cut on a fold and I will need to iron the back out because it's it's kind of wrinkly um but yeah that's this look so we've got six of the seven done and the seventh just needs buttons and buttonholes, which I always dread and take forever to put on. But yeah, there is that look. Let me show you my process of these buttonholes. I just did another one, but then I was like, I eh, might as well show you while I'm doing it. So these pins I've already measured out. Um, so this is one inch from the top and then this is four inches. So one inch, four inches, and then it continues to be four inches, four inches for the rest of the holes, which is only two more. Whenever, so I, I get, and it's gonna be hard to do this with one hand, I'll definitely have to stop and readjust, but I get the buttonhole um, where this needle lined up with that needle. So just to get it like, you know, centered under that, and then, I've also lined it up on this. So as you can see with these two, they're spaced the same distance from here to here. So I picked a part or a point on this plate where I line up um, the fabric to like there, but over this <laughs> to where it is just like a perfectly spaced and accurate buttonhole when I'm um, going down. Hopefully that made a little sense. Let me get this lined up and then I will show you more. Now I can kind of show you better and like more what I was meaning. So this is lined up with where this was pinned. So it's accurately four inches. And then all of the buttonholes have been lining up the edge of the fabric right here. Then on this, you also have to line up the white with the white to start the dial. Then all you do is press start. I usually just kind of hold it with my hands because I'm paranoid and I like to not really guide it, but just ensure that it's going straight. Um, even though you really don't have to, that's just the <laughs> controlling part of me. So I'm gonna press start and all the settings are just, they pre-save one-to-one -one and it will go backwards first. And 
and then I just press the scissor, cuts it, and you got your buttonhole. So you can tell that they're evenly spaced going this way and then this way. So now I just have one more to line up. Very last sewing marathon update and last garment to be complete, which I think I predicted this in an earlier video that this would be the last one I would do. Simplicity 8699. So we've got four buttons here and I kind of showed you a little bit about those buttons, but here's kind of like an up close. And then also there's a hook and eye in the on the inside right here just to kind of hold the whole skirt together. It's got a dart here and then also a dart here. And then on the back, if I can get this to turn around, I'll have to go the other way. We've just got two darts right here and right here. And a pretty simple back, it was cut on a fold and the waistband was also cut on a fold. So yeah, that is this look, which is the very last garment of the Sewing Marathon series. I can't believe that I'm actually done with these garments. You can see them right there. Those are the very last two garments of my Sewing Marathon series. So like I said before, if you haven't seen my other videos, go check them out. Thank y'all so, so much for watching and following along with this random sewing marathon series. It's been so much fun to sew some stuff and also kind of vlog and post it along the way. So thanks so much for watching and I will talk to y'all later.